G'day, this is Jim with Urban Self Sufficiency, and today we're going to do some soil testing. You're going to need a glass jar and a hand trowel, and we're going to fill these jars up around halfway with soil from different areas around the property. I'm going to do three locations. First, my raised beds, which has purchased premium soil from the garden centre. The second is going to be my pumpkin patch which has got just regular soil from the property that was an existing flower garden and the third is going to act as a control which is just some soil that I dug from the side of the house from an area that was recently excavated when doing some repairs on the property. Once I collected the soil samples I went ahead and numbered the jars to keep a good track of which is which. The first being the raised beds, second the pumpkin patch, and the third is my control. The next step is to fill the jars with water, seal them tightly and give them a good shake. This will suspend all of the material in the water, and then the heaviest materials will sink to the bottom, followed by the lighter materials. And this will actually provide you with a good cross cut of your soil based on different components that make up that soil and the three layers that we'll be looking at is the first layer the coarse sand and grit followed by a silt layer or the loam and then finally on the very top the clay layer which is a very fine material Once your samples have completely settled, you take a ruler and put it against the side of the jar to measure the depth of the soil sample. I'm just going to take a closer look at my first sample here. This is the raised bed. And you can see that the total depth of soil is 52 millimeters. This is going to be our baseline. Looking at the top layer, the clay layer, we measure out that it is in fact around two millimeters in depth. Then looking at the second layer, the loam or silt layer, we can see that this is around 12 millimeters. That then leaves the bottom layer, the sand and grit level, and it is around 38 millimeters. So what we do is we divide those measurements by the overall depth. So in this case, two millimeters divided by 52 equates to 0 0.038. 12 millimeters divides down to 0.23 and 38 divides to 0.73. Then we round these up and multiply them by 100 to give your average percentage. In this case, my clay layer is at 4%. The loam or silt layer is at 23% and my sand layer is at 73%. Now the impetus for this soil test was that I found that I was having to water my beds quite regularly and as I suspected the sand layer is much too high. Now the real surprise to me however is the loam or silt layer being only at 23%. I expected this to be much higher considering the amount of cow manure and other organic material I have mixed through these beds on a regular basis so it's quite an eye-opener for me but I think the key thing here to remember is that the three layers have some good qualities and then some downsides as well so we need to look at the ratio of the three and I believe the best ratio is around 40% sand 40% loam or that silt layer and around 20% clay the sand is good to keep the soil aerated, it allows good root penetration and allows water to be taken into the soil very quickly. Too much sand however can allow the beds to dry out very quickly and also has the potential to allow nutrients to be washed from the soil. The loam is really the portion of the soil that we would prefer to have on the higher side. It's the best at holding on to nutrients. The clay layer at around 20% is good for allowing the water to be retained in the soil. It holds on to water very well and I suppose this indicates the downside is that you, you have too much clay 
then the soil can become waterlogged and it can also suffocate the roots and also makes it very difficult for the roots to penetrate the soil and so can stunt root growth as well. And just taking a look at the final results of the three different soil samples from around my property. You can see that the two samples from the garden beds, the bed that I built with the premium soil and the regular garden bed that had plants in it previously are very similar. The clay levels about the same, the silt levels very very similar and the sand levels very high as well. Not quite as high as the control so they are in slightly better condition but it is quite evident that I'm going to have to do something about the level of sand in the soil. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was very informative to create but also for me to learn about my own garden and the soil composition and it certainly enlightened me about the problems that I'm having with my garden and hopefully I showed it in a fashion that was easy for you to understand and will encourage you to go out and have an attempt at doing this yourself. If you enjoy my channel, please subscribe or share it around to friends if you're already subscribed. It really helps me out a lot. And also, if you've got any suggestions, please put them in the comments below and give the video a thumbs up if you did like it and a thumbs down if you didn't. It helps me adjust what I'm doing to create better content for you. That's it. Thanks very much for watching and until next time, take it easy.